Get your taste buds ready. A tomato sandwich taste off is coming up this Saturday in Trailblazer Park in TR, and it benefits the Traveler's Rest Farmers Market as a fundraiser. The winner of last year's taste off is joining us now, Julian Lue from Rice Bakery. Uh, Julian, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Margaret. Um, congrats on your victory, first of all. This trophy is spectacular. Um, tell us about your tomato sandwich entry. What, what set it apart? Well, um, we just really tried to showcase our beautiful local tomatoes. Yeah. So our sandwich uh, features tomatoes three ways, and um, we just tried not to mask the flavor of what uh, nature provides. That's, that's the whole idea. It's, it's natural and fresh and delicious that way. For people who didn't attend the tomato sandwich taste off last year, um, paint that scene for us. You're about to put one together, but this is just uh, groups of people out having a great time enjoying delicious foods. That's right. The, the main objective is just to help raise money for the Traveler's Rest Farmer's Market, which is where I got my start as a baker and led to me being able to open my storefront. So yeah. it's a cause that's near and dear to my heart, and I want to do everything I can to support them. A great part of your story, and for a lot of people's uh, stories, the owner and founder of Rise Bakery, obviously, so you know how to create a sandwich using the freshest tomato possible. What are some, some tips, some things we consider when we're uh, creating a sandwich? Well, a, a tomato sandwich um, is one of the things that's kind of greater than the sum of its parts. Mm -hmm. So all of the ingredients have to be great. So we're going to use beautiful artisan bread from our bakery. We're going to use lovely ripe local tomatoes, okay. Duke's mayonnaise, and then just use flavors that complement the tomato. Walk us through your process, and as you're cutting, go ahead and uh, kind of narrate your process, and then, and then talk to us about, you know, the freshness we're experiencing here, this is what makes it amazing. Absolutely. Well, this is beautiful sourdough or naturally leavened bread that we feature mm -hmm. at our bakery. Um, and it features roasted tomatoes inside the sourdough bread. So that's one of the three ways that we present uh, tomato in the sandwich. Wow, you're already off to a good start because your bread plays that theme. That's right. That's right. So what we're going to do is get a nice thick piece of beautiful bread. We have some um, Duke's mayonnaise that we added tomatoes into as uh, we cooked them down and made like a puree out of the tomatoes and then we also um, added some nice fresh basil in there. Very good. So you can flavor the mayonnaise the way you want to complement your sandwich. Absolutely. And one of the keys to a good tomato sandwich, because tomatoes are so juicy, is to insulate the bread from the juice of the tomatoes. So you want to use some sort of a fat in this case, it usually is mayonnaise. Otherwise, the juice would be through there and you'd have soggy you'd bread. You'd get soggy long. bread, okay. right? And we don't That's want soggy trick. bread. So then the next component is a beautiful, ripe local tomato. These we get from Beechwood Farms, uh, which are another vendor at the TR Farmer's Market. So we top with a nice piece of tomato, some fresh cracked wow. pepper, a little bit of flaky salt, and then just to complement the tomatoes, a little bit of pickled red onion. It's simple, it's elegant, it looks gorgeous. That's what we're going for. Simple is best, right? Yeah, I would think and so. Then it's not a sandwich. We serve it as a tartine. We do it open-faced because who wants to hide these beautiful local tomatoes? I can't imagine. Yeah, you, you want them to be the star. Can I take a bite? Absolutely. Help um, yourself. After I take a bite, talk to me a little bit about this community. I just love the way you're all networking with one another. You use each other's ingredients. And then as you as you grow your businesses, you're, the, the TR Farmer's Market is at the center of it all? I think so, yeah. I mean, all of us being in one place at the same time really give us opportunities to um, talk about what we're working on, find creative ways to collaborate. Um, and the way I like to put it is that a rising tide lifts all ships. So all of our success mutually benefits the whole community. Well, it's a great thing. People are going to want to come out to this event, be part of, of, of all those great things. We're going to put Saturday's tomato taste off information on screen in just a moment. But uh, anything else you want people to know about... Uh, about the importance of supporting that or just delicious food before we go? Um, well, not not really. I mean, when you can buy local, do it, right? And and the TR Farmers make, Market makes it really easy for you to do that because all of those local growers and artisans are in one place that make it easy to do all of that uh, weekly shopping. Yep, excellent. And uh, while well, we're showing some pastries on screen now, but we will say, too, that you're going to be at the TR Farmers Market that day selling your goods, your market-exclusive roasted tomato country loaf there um, should be incredible. So thank you so much for bringing us that taste and good luck to you on Saturday. This is a, a short thing, a winner, I think. Thank you. I hope I hope we uh, we keep the trophy. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you. Well, the tomato sandwich taste off happens at Trailblazer Park this Saturday, July 29th from 9 a.m. to 1130. Eight competitors will battle to be named the best. A $20 ticket gets you a sample of each sandwich. It also gets you a vote to determine the winner. You can get tickets online and we've put a link on accesscarolina.com as well.